Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So Adam and I are sitting down in my office right now. Mm -hmm. The kids just went to bed. We both have a glass of wine and we're gonna sit down and chat with you guys and do an updated Q&A because it is long overdue. We are gonna answer all of your questions. Every yeah, single one. I asked one. you guys on Instagram to send in your questions, any questions that you guys have for us. But if I didn't answer your question or we skipped over it, chances are it's in a previous Q&A that we did. So like how we met and all of that is in a previous Q&A. So I will link it down below if you guys are interested, if you're new here. But um, let's see what the first question is. Let's get some juicy ones here. What does Adam do for work? And where did you used to work before babies? So I currently don't work. I am a full-time student and um, I got out of the military like nine months ago. So that was a hell of a transition for me. Um, before that, I was in the, the Marines, which I think we talked about previously in a video, yeah. but um, I did like recruiting for the military, basically. So what that's did what you I do did. Before that? before that, I was in high school. No, <laughs> well, your before MOS. that, like, I was like, I was like a truck driver. What was your MOS? I was like a truck driver. They call motor T operator, and I drove truck in Afghanistan and all that good stuff. So mm -hmm. pretty good times. So yeah, to answer your question, Adam is not currently working. He's a full-time student, but he gets paid to go to school. Yeah, so I'm on the GI Bill right now. So they pay for a housing allowance to pay for, I guess, the house that I live in, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so, yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Do you regret not having a traditional wedding? Love you guys. Not really. No. It's like... I feel like it's just such a waste of money. Yeah, like I, I love the idea of having a big wedding and like I grew up around that. But to be honest, it's like in today's day and age, it's so expensive that it's it's almost not even yeah. really worth and knowing it. knowing me and like how I would want my wedding to be, it would be like insanely expensive. So yeah. we're just, we're not going to have a wedding. It'd be um, pink everything, everywhere. <laughs> blush and, everything and for sure. And it would sure. be ridiculous. And it would be just way over the top. So yeah, I love her though. Unless we become like multi-billionaires um i don't see us ever having a wedding <laughs> having a courthouse wedding was perfectly fine for both of us Check. we don't regret it I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so do we want to have more kids maybe maybe <laughs> how many um, kids you do you guys have? know you have three my kids answer. right yeah three kids yeah well four with chloe this no joke if you're watching yeah, right out there, now, hard no right now. It would not be anytime soon. It's like, um, it is no joke. And, yeah. and that's with me going to college and then her working at home. <laughs> Every this single is, day, we're like treading water and it's chaos. It's like, where's, it's the chaos. Ma where's the manual at that teaches me how to raise these things? Like these crazy little creatures are just <laughs> running over everything. That we love to death. And I'm like, I need a Bible for this or something. <laughs> Um, I would love at least one more. Um, I always said I wanted six. Adam is like, he used to be hard no. Now he's like, maybe, definitely no right now. Yeah. Definitely no right now. Give me some time. But maybe after Grayson turns like a year, a year and a half. I don't or know. Or 10 we'll, or 11, you know. I'll think about it. Who knows? But I think we'll have one more. <laughs> okay, someone asked if I'm currently still breastfeeding. I'm not currently still breastfeeding Grayson. Um, he was just a really hard baby to nurse. Adam can vouch for that. It was so stressful. I tried everything I could to um, make the situation as comfortable for both of us, but he just didn't enjoy it. And every time we would leave the house, I couldn't breastfeed him in public because he wouldn't latch. So I would have to bring a bottle of formula or use pump milk. Um, and my pump milk ran out so fast. Um, I was not making enough at all to continue to pump and store milk. Um, so my supply started plummeting and eventually I just put him on formula a hundred percent and he is so much happier. Um, and I honestly wish I would have done that sooner because I stressed myself out so much over it and it was just unnecessary. I wanted to give it my all and try everything I could before giving up and I did. So I'm glad I tried as hard as I could, but it just didn't work out for him. So he just 
Sometimes he didn't enjoy it. Sometimes it's and just neither not did meant to Shay be. really either. Bailey did, but Shay was very similar to Grayson. They just didn't latch. Like Grayson just hated breastfeeding. So yeah, he's on formula 100% of the time, and we are both way happier. So someone asked, describe your high school self. Describe your high school self. <laughs> well, I I don't know about you, but. I, I, in high school, was super nerdy, like the dude who really didn't do much. Okay, well, keep in mind, he came from a high school of like 20 kids. 26. <laughs> 26 people at his high school. I came from a high school of like 3,000 in my graduating class alone. You're a party animal, aren't you? And yeah, I was a party animal, for sure. I was, I was not. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Like complete opposite. We were like we're polar opposites of each other. That's why I feel like the whole He's opposites. He's super attract sheltered them. and just very very different from me, <laughs> if you guys can't tell. But yeah, I was a party animal in high school, and he was, was super nerdy and not at all. Well, he comes from a very very small town too. Still kind of nerdy. Am I nerdy? Did, was, did, was anyone like a big partier at your? Yeah, but it's like let's go in the cornfield and get a keg, you know, like yeehaw. Yeah, like very, very innocent. Like when I met him, like, yeah, he was, he was blown away by some, some of the stories I told him. <laughs> he was like, what's that? What's that? So the next question is, how do you guys deal with disagreements? So Tara and I disagree on almost everything. I don't. Don't we? No. Well, I feel like, I feel like we, I feel like, like, in a marriage, like you're always like button heads, but like you always come to like a consensus or like a what's that thing called? An agreement. An agreement. Um, the word. What? Um, when we compromise, mm -hmm. like the two parties don't always agree, but at the end of the day, they compromise. Okay, yeah, I see That's what you're us in yeah. a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Like Tara's over here in left field, Adam's in right field, and we gotta somehow meet in the middle of the field. We always do. Yeah, sometimes. sometimes we, it's like... we have different opinions and views on a lot of things. On the main, like, core family things, I would say we agree on. But, like, little things throughout the day, like, I have my opinion on something, he has his opinion on something, and... Like, where I should leave my socks, you know? <laughs> like, I should yeah. probably put them... Like, I know they should go in the hamper. Like, I know that. In my brain... But like when I'm ready to go to bed, I flip them off my feet and they land on the floor. So always. But you know. Your dirty hamper is right next to your bed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know where they go. It's just. Three more steps to the to the closet. If you're a guy out there, there, I don't know why you're watching this. If you're a guy out there, but if you are, <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about. It's so hard for you. What did Adam think when you started YouTube? What did you think about when I started YouTube? Man. I even look at your old videos and I'm just like, they were shot in 720p, which is like he super. He thinks he's a pro now, by the way. They're super low resolution, which yeah, is like, well, no, no, no. it's crazy to see like the, like the growth from where everything started to where it is now. It's just like. I feel like even now my videos aren't really that good. Oh my gosh. I think you're doing a dang good job. <laughs> Thanks. But what did you think when I first started? Like when I came to you and said, I don't remember. It was like, like I want to start. A and channel. I like remember downloading Camtasia. He like didn't care at all. I mean, yeah. like he wasn't like that's weird. Because well, I never, no. I never watched YouTube really. Like I never, like she was all into like channels and stuff. I always watched YouTube. Like, but I really, I really just watched it for like videos on how to do things. Like if I didn't know how to do something, I would just watch a video. But like she was all into it and stuff. Yeah, I, I remember when I was pregnant with Bailey and we were living in Twenty Nine Palms. And I was like, I made him watch a bunch of birth videos with me. And like from then on, like I was so hooked with watching like mom vloggers and birth videos. And I remember getting him to sit down with me to watch some of them. But when I told him that I wanted to start my own channel, he, I don't think he even really cared. He was just like, cool. I'm like, okay, have fun. Yeah. Because I was working. So like, I yeah, was focused was on gone a lot. So all that stuff. So I was filming usually when he was like gone at work. When Bailey was napping. Your little, your little iPhone 8. <laughs> Hi, guys. Popped up in my window. <laughs> oh, um, good times. And here we are now, sitting in our office at 8 at night. Yeah. 
hanging out. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Thanks for following along, folks. Next question. Okay, someone asked, how are you able to do everything you do with three kids? I know you have Adam home with you a lot more, but you were just as much of a hard worker when he was working in the military full time and you were pregnant with two little ones. Tell me your secrets. Tara is badass. <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not even joking. I'm not trying to like toot her horn or anything, but like she I does just, it all. I think I'm just really good with my time management. Don't you say that? Yeah. Yeah. But like I prioritize the things that bring me joy and that I love doing, and YouTube's one of them. So it's like way up there on my priority list. My kids, Adam, work. And sometimes work gets pushed up to the top because I love it so much. I love creating content for you guys. And it's what brings me joy. So I just make it a priority. But I've always been really good with my time management. I'm always I'm always early to things or at least on time to things. And I don't know. I've just always been that way. I'm pretty sure your calendar said September though last week. And it's November. What do you mean? Your calendar. Didn't that say like November or September like last week? What does that have to do? Super organized. I didn't say I was organized. I uh, said I'm good with my time management. I was making It still joke. said September, but I still got everything I needed to be <laughs> done. I don't know. I'm just making it funny. <laughs> it's September, but it's November. Your calendar, that's... Yeah. You get what I'm know. saying. She's... I'm just... Like, it's all in here. I very rarely write things down and put things in my calendar. Like, I've gotten a little bit better at that, but usually, like, I just store everything in my head or use the notes section in my my phone and I just get done what needs to be done and I just make it a priority. I don't know. Good job. <laughs> well put, babe. That's well put. Okay, the next person asked, is Chloe home from her training? She comes home tomorrow and we're so excited. I so cannot excited. wait to see her. Yeah, it's been like her it's been so like two much. weeks. Yeah. Uh, she went she went away weeks. to uh, this training program for service dogs. Uh, she's a little young now to start being a service dog, but it's kind of like a prep training to like get her used to it before she turns one, which is then we could get her in there and start doing actual work. Um, and it'll be for me so that I can bring her wherever. Yeah, yeah. kind of feel more comfortable in public because that's um, something that he struggles with. Yeah, something cause... I'm not too good with. So, who was interested first and why? Mm. Are we doing that one? You just spit all over me. Like, literally. <laughs> Who was loogie. interested first in... <sighs> good times, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Such good times. You remember that time when I played the guitar? Yeah, that's how you won me over. Yeah. But right there. Probably the last time I played, too. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. I swear, I was on Hillary's porch, and I just played my guitar with Matthew Dunn and Hillary just hanging out, and... Terry just came in and swooped me off my feet. It was all I over. I don't know. I don't remember who was into who first. So I met her at a bar, and like I, I remember talking to you at the bar, but if I was you guys like, um are stationed in Twenty Nine Palms. You you all know this bar. What's what was it called? The Virginian. Yeah, I think that's. We went to the Virginian. That's where we met. <laughs> and I, I like I don't understand how everything like happened, but like we were both apparently into each other. Yeah. So you know. We did that thing, hung out, and the rest is history. Took her out to sushi. That's pretty dangerous that to do date. in 29 Palms, mm -hmm. but we did that. Yeah. It's pretty scary, Went actually. to sushi, and then our first, like, real date, like, outside of 29 Palms was Six, Six Flags. Flags. It's our picture, right, in the bathroom? Mm-hmm. One of, like, the only pictures we have together know, in the house. we never take pictures <laughs> um, oh, man. with each other at all. We need to get better about that. I but love you, though. I don't remember who was into who first. It was just like kind of mutual. We were both really into each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's okay. Oh Next gosh. question. Okay. I just posted a photo on my Instagram like 20 minutes ago and I asked you guys to um, ask us questions over there. So I'm going to um, open that picture up and answer some questions from that post. What's your next trip planned? <laughs> That's funny, because this video will go live while they're on their next trip. It's like she just left for one. It's like trips everywhere. Just poof, trips, trips, trips. Let it rain, trips. 
<laughs> What's Adam doing? <laughs> You're so good at it though. People love to see you oh with the kids. Oh my gosh. Oh, save me. Next question. Oh, is that the answer? Yeah. Okay. You'll find out. <laughs> is Texas where you see your family long term? Yes, 100%. Although I would say if I was down to move to South Dakota, we would be there now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like I think about it sometimes and I'm like, she just wouldn't get along with South Dakota. Like it's just not. It's no, I not couldn't. I couldn't thing. do the snow. I couldn't do the snow and I just couldn't do that. Like really, really, really small town vibe. She, she needs her target. You know, the yeah. target with the Starbucks. Like if you got that, which I'm pretty <laughs> sure we do. So no, it's what, like a five-hour drive? If you're ever thinking about it, I could find one, or I could build one, like franchise one. I don't know. Like, that could be a thing. Yeah, I I visited his um, hometown. I've, we've been there a bunch, but I went with Bailey for her first birthday. He was deployed, and I flew with Bailey to South Dakota during her birthday, which is in January, and if you guys live in South Dakota or around that area, you know it's freezing cold mm -hmm. so i think it was like negative 24 with a wind chill yeah, and really, really it bad. was it was like one of their coldest winters and i was there for like a week and a half so i got to know the the, the cold winter there very well um and it was fun i mean we were out in the backyard like doing snow angels and stuff and we were only out there for like five minutes because you can't be out there for very long because you can barely breathe when you walk outside um but it's just, it's just not for me. You guys, I mean, you guys know me. I just wouldn't do well it's like, in South Dakota. It's like an acquired So that's taste. why we're in Dallas because I feel like it's a happy, it's a happy medium and it's a compromise for both of us. He gets that small town vibe. I get that like city. I'm, we're still close enough to like all of the things that I need, like my Target, my Starbucks and all of that. But we're kind of like... I feel like we're kind of tucked away. So yeah, it yeah. feels like we're in the country, but we're not. Like we have like a 10 minute drive to the nearest Target. So that's important, everybody. Yeah. Gotta, I mean, gotta yeah. Gotta find the Target because if you don't have to get, you don't have the Target, I don't know what you're going mean, to do. I mean, I go every day. Yeah, I know. I don't know what I would do. Trust me, I know. I get bank statements just like everybody. <laughs> but he, like the people out here are so nice. Um, and they're very similar to the kind of people you would find in South Dakota. So, I mean, there's, things that he loves about Texas and there's things that I love about Texas. So that's why we decided to move here, but we'll never go back to California, right? No, I don't think so. he didn't like it there. Um, and I don't mind living outside of California. Like I love home. Don't get me wrong, but, um, I love Texas and it feels like home to me. So I don't think we'll ever move outside of California or outside of Texas. When you and Adam argue, who is the first to apologize? <laughs> It's like 99.9% .9 Adam. <laughs> yes. I was hoping she was going to say that because I was about ready to be like, no, don't you say you. Well, it's, it's so... you because you're always in the wrong. Is that how it goes? <laughs> well, you know you're in the wrong. That's why. I just kind of like, like oh, give I'm up, sorry. You know? No, you always come to me and you're like, I'm sorry I was being mean or whatever. Yeah, you're probably right. It's, it's just... It takes them know, a little bit to like internalize everything and realize what we're like totally different people and like i sometimes just don't get her it takes me a while to get her and then once i get her i'm like you know babe i'm sorry i shouldn't have i shouldn't have done that yeah can't so. think of a witty thing to say of what i shouldn't have done but i shouldn't have done that he'll always come up to me and just like pull me in and give me a hug and a kiss and be like Sorry, babe. I'm sorry I was mean. And she'll melt and it'll be love at first sight. All over it, it takes him like, what, an hour or two? But it's usually Adam. Almost always. Okay, this question's for you. If you never met me, where do you think you would be today? That's funny because someone literally just asked me that question. I don't know. It was You'd one of my in classmates. South Dakota. No, I, would, I think I would honestly still be in the military. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of things that I wanted to do in the military that weren't really family friendly like doing like special operations and all this cool like intel stuff mm -hmm. um that i that i knew i had the mindset for but i didn't think it was good for my family so i i basically just decided to get out like i took i took a bunch of tests uh for like language tests to to do different jobs and 
at some point I just um, talked to enough people and decided that it just wasn't good enough or just wasn't good for the family. So mm-hmm. um, I, I, I changed his MOS too. Like after we had Bailey, yeah. a few months after we had Bailey, he changed his MOS because he was working crazy hours. Um, and then my channel started taking off and he was able to actually get out of the military. So thanks to you guys, like he's, he was able to get out and I'm, I'm able to support our family now. So he doesn't have to, we don't have to worry about him anymore. Um, going overseas and I mean, you know, like it was stressful. It was hard. Um, he went on a long deployment when, um, Bailey was what, seven, seven months old. And so he missed like a good portion of the first year of her life. Um, so if it wasn't for YouTube, he would still be in the military and he probably would have missed a lot of Shay's life and a lot of Grayson's life. So, um, thanks to you guys, he's home with us now forever. Yeah. Very, like very fortunate for, for y'all. So, yeah. Okay. The next question, how are you handling Grayson waking up so much throughout the night? I'm dying over here. I feel like my body honestly has adjusted to him waking up five or six times a night. Um, but we are definitely going to start, um, sleep training him as soon as possible. As soon as I get back from my trip, that's like my number one priority is going to be sleep training him because he's still in our room right now. So I feel like I wake up to every little noise that he makes and (laughs) it's hard. It's hard. He wakes up so much throughout the night. I feel like more than Bailey and Shay ever did. Um, but I feel like my body is just so immune to it now. Um, I don't even know what it's like to sleep through the night anymore, but, um, we're definitely going to start sleep training soon. So next question is, is your house always completely clean? We'll ask Adam this. Oh, what? What? Yeah. Is it always clean? It's like, there's like, Tara has like a standard for like normalcy in the house and like the house is always relatively clean he thinks the house is always clean but it's like it's like a disaster sometimes like don't get me wrong and it's, then... it does it's a disaster when i'm busy doing something else and i'm not there to tend to it and like i straight i i know that i need to be better at cleaning like that's I why just, i pick up the vacuum you know? i just clean as i go and so if i don't have anything else to do and i'm just like with the kids super present and um, I don't have a video to film or a video to edit or X, Y, and Z. There's so many different things that I could be doing throughout the day. But if I'm not doing one of those two things and I'm just kind of like going throughout our day, I'm always picking up as I go. And so I feel Literally like that. Upset. Like I, I'm, I'm like, babe, just it sit down. It could be a little bit of OCD. Just but... sit down. And sometimes she'll just be like cleaning and I'm just sitting on the couch like, Man, why is she cleaning doing right laps now? around him? And I just don't, I don't get it. My mom was that way though, so I feel like I've just learned that from her. She was the exact same way. She would clean as she goes, and she's very like particular about her home and like things being in the right place. And I picked that up from my mom, and Bailey is now picking it up from me because she like organizes certain things in her drawers, and her room has to be a certain way. And if we Put something somewhere else she'll freak out so i mean i don't think it's a bad trait to have um i just like my space clean if it's not clean i feel like i can't think so i don't know i like her house to be clean but it's not always clean so to answer your question it's not always clean but if it's if it's a mess i'm taking care of it as soon as i can <laughs> so he thinks i'm crazy she's crazy <laughs> okay the last question i'm going to answer um, have I ever discussed my addiction story in more depth? Were you and Adam together during or after that period in your life? Um, I have not discussed my addiction story in depth and I don't think I ever will. Um, but Adam and I were not together when I was going through that period in my life. Um, I met him months after that. So yeah, that's going to wrap up today's q and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And if I did not answer your question, be sure to check out the other Q&As that Adam and I have done in the past. And we will see you guys in our next video.